Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve two-step equations. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when solving two-step equations. The first thing we have to do is solve the equation by isolating the variable. That means you want the variable equals a number. Usually the variable will be x, so let's just say x equals a number. This is what you're trying to solve for when solving equations. The way you do that is you use inverse operations to undo parts of the equation. The inverse operation just means you do the opposite. So if it's plus, you'll subtract, and if it's subtraction, you'll add. Finally, you will add or subtract first, and then you will multiply or divide second. You are adding or subtracting to get the constants together, which are just the numbers, and then you're multiplying or dividing to get the variable by itself. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and jump down and start on our first practice problem for solving two-step equations. This problem gives us 3x minus 25 equals 35. Remember, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the variable equals a number. What we want is x on one side of the equal sign equals a number on the other side. Our variable is on the left here, so we need to get all the numbers on the right. The way we're going to do that is we're going to get rid of this minus 25. In order to get rid of minus 25, you have to do the opposite. So we're going to do plus 25, or we're going to add 25. The reason we're doing that is so that the 25s cancel and they go away. Now whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So I'm also going to add 25 to this side of the equal sign. When I do that, I will add 35 plus 25, and I will get 60. I'm going to bring down my 3x, because it's still over here. We didn't change it at all. And the equal sign comes straight down. Now we have 3x equals 60. We have to get x by itself through either multiplication or division. With a coefficient on the x, this is like saying 3 times x. So it's not written, but there's a little multiplication symbol there. In order to undo 3 times x, we're going to divide by 3 because division is the opposite of multiplication. So I divide by 3 so that the 3's cancel. And then on this side, I also have to divide by 3 because whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So on the left, we have just x, so the 3's are gone, it's just the variable x equals 60 divided by 3 is 20. So our solution to this two-step equation is x equals 20. I know this is the solution because we have x equals a number, and in this case, the number is 20. Moving on to number 2, number 2 gives us 7x plus 20 equals 97. You have to remember we're trying to get x equals a number. So you want x on one side and a number on the other. Which means the first thing we need to do is we need, so we need to get rid of this plus 20. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to subtract 20 because the opposite of plus 20 is minus 20. So these will cancel. And whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So we do minus 20 on this side. 97 minus 20 is 77. The equal sign comes straight down, and 7x comes straight down because we did not change it at all. The reason we subtracted 20 first is because we need to get x by itself on one side and the numbers together on the other. So I need to move this 20 over here with this 97. The last step we need to do is get, need to get rid of this coefficient of 7 with the x. Remember, a coefficient is like saying 7 times x. The opposite of 7 times x is to divide by 7. So I'm going to divide by 7 to this side. I'm also going to divide by 7 to this side because whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. All you're left with on the left is x because the coefficient is gone. And then 77 divided by 7 is 11. So our solution for this two-step equation is x equals 11. Our final practice problem on how to solve two-step equations gives us 134 equals negative 10x plus 14. 
This time the X is on the right side over here, but the rule stays the same. We still need X on one side by itself, which means this plus 14 has to go to the other side because we want all the numbers or all the constants together and we want the variable on one side by itself. So to get rid of this plus 14, I'm going to go minus 14 here so that it cancels and goes away. And then I'm going to do minus 14 here because whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So we have 134 minus 14. Well, that's 120 equals negative 10 X because we did not change the negative 10 X. So the equation, so the equal sign comes down and the negative 10 X comes straight down. Now we have to get X by itself. This is like saying negative 10 times X. So the opposite of negative 10 times something is dividing by negative 10. If it's negative, if the coefficient is negative, you have to include the negative when you divide so that the negatives cancel and the 10 cancels. So X is left over on this side. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So I'm going to divide this side by negative 10 as well. 120 divided by negative 10 is negative 12. And negative 12 is going to be the solution to this two-step equation. And if you want to download the free practice worksheet or do a free practice quiz, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video. You'll be taken to a quiz that grades itself and tells you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!